What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. So before we head out and hit the flea market, I just wanted to let you guys know that I decided to go ahead and put my website back up. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, the link will be in the description from now on. I'm gonna start off slow on there um, and I'll add more stuff over time just to see how it goes this time around. But with that out the way, if you're enjoying the videos, hit that like button, it lets me know, it helps the channel grow. Drop a comment down below and subscribe. Now let's go see what we can find this week. How much are these? Seven. Seven? Okay. Look at here. I said, that ain't no problem on that, because I, I know what I can do. Yeah, yeah. Look. I tried to do a package deal. You know what I mean? How much is the hat? Two dollars. Five bucks. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into the pickup part of this week's video. Today's Tuesday, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I picked up today and then we'll skip ahead to this weekend. You guys know the drill. So I literally just walked in, like the stuff's still in my backpack. I haven't even took it out yet. So I have not had a chance to clean any of this stuff yet, but I decided to just go ahead and uh, make the video anyway. But whenever I do the overlay footage, then I'll um, have it cleaned up by then. Start off with the first thing. It's actually a PS4 game. Anytime I can add to my PS4 collection for cheap, I'm gonna do it. Um, and it's Okami HD. This one is still in great shape. Um, personally, I've never even played any of the Okami games, but I heard they're good. So I grabbed this for only five bucks. I mean, like anytime you can find a PS4 game for $5 or under is always a great deal. So, especially a title like this. Next up, I picked up one hat. This thing was buried under a bunch of stuff. So, a little smash, but I'll have it reshaping pretty quick. Um, this is 1995 NCAA Final Four Seattle hat. The 1995 NCAA Final Four patch right down the front. And on the back, you have UCLA National Champions. No tag on the inside besides this one right here. One size fits all. Um, still pretty clean. Does need to be a, cleaned up a little bit. Ended up grabbing this for only two bucks, so I thought that was an okay deal. Picked up this bag. I was actually already leaving when I found this. Um, and then I seen like a couple of the letters poking out from under something. <laughs> so I pulled it out and it was this bag right here, this Polo Sport bag, this duffel. You got Polo Sport Ralph Lauren and then you have the little flag. You see the P does have a little damage and so does the flag. But other than that, it's still pretty good shape overall. Uh, there's the inside. I think it's supposed to have like one of those cardboard things at the bottom, but this doesn't have it, but it's okay. I only spent five bucks on it, so I'm not complaining. So that's that, Polo Sport Bag for five bucks. And then I picked up two pairs of shoes. Neither one of these are the greatest shape in the world whatsoever, uh, but they're both super cheap. That's why I picked them up. And I never have a problem selling these shoes when I do get them, even if they are a little bit dirty, a little bit beat up. Um, and it's a pair of the Air Max Pluses right here. Here's the first one. Don't know what this colorway is called or if it even has a name, but those are a size 11 from 2017. So this is a pretty recent release. You can see the toe cap is a little yellowed and has some scuffing on it, um, but I'm probably just gonna clean these up and let them go for pretty cheap. Here's the other one. Uh, picked them up because they only paid $7 for them. So even though they are a little bit dirty, they do need to be cleaned up. You can't really go wrong for only seven bucks. Anytime I get a pair of these Air Max Pluses, they sell pretty quick um, and they always go to Canada. I don't know why. I guess Canadians just really like these. And then the second pair of shoes I found is actually another pair of Air Max Pluses. Um, and it's a pair of the Sunset pair right here. I don't know what they were thinking with these laces, but uh, those are gonna have to go. Those are a size nine and a half from 2014. Um, I don't know about any more, but I remember I found these maybe about a year, a year and a half ago. Um, and at that time they were going for some crazy prices. But since they retroed the original pair again, I don't know if these are still fetching that much money, but I only paid five bucks for these. This is why I picked them up. Uh, yes, they're kind of beat. I mean, they're pretty beat to be honest, but I mean, they were only five bucks. So I figured somebody would want them to just beat up. So that's what I picked up today. Uh, it was kind of dry, but I mean, I guess I'm happy with the stuff that I grabbed uh, for the prices that I paid, I guess. So now let's skip ahead to this weekend and um, hopefully we find some stuff this weekend.
much are the hats? How much? Two dollars? Okay. I ended up picking these up. Uh, I was gonna originally leave them, but uh, he gave me a better deal on them. They're the 01 pair, so I went ahead and grabbed them. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff that I picked up this weekend. So unfortunately, no video games, uh, but I did pick up five hats. So I guess that's what I'm gonna start off with this time. So these first two I actually found for $2 each, and they are both Popeye snapbacks. The first one is this one right here. I forget what the villain's name is. I wanna say it's like Brutus or something like that. I could be wrong. Uh, but you have him like on the front laughing, uh, and then he's angry, and then you got him right there on the side as well. So just different expressions of his. There you got the tag, head start, sportswear, Popeye. And then the upper on this one's like a gray, navy blue, kind of like a Georgetown Hoyas colorway. And then you got the green brim. So that's that one. And then the second one I found, um, I think this one's way better than that one as far as like the color and everything. Um, this is probably my favorite snapback that I found out of the five that I'm about to show you. Um, and it's another Popeye one and we got this one right here. So on this one you got Popeye spelt out on the front all the way across in big letters. You got him lifting his weights. There is the tag. This one is by Head Start as well. Green underbrim, blue snap. Uh, I just really like the color on this, and then I really like the big lettering that goes all the way across the front. I probably would keep this. Uh, the only reason I'm probably not going to, because just by looking at it, you can tell it's like one of those snapbacks with the low crown. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of those, so I'm gonna be getting rid of that one and the other one as well But for only two dollars a piece, I went ahead and grabbed those two and then these next three I got all from the same vendor uh, I paid five dollars a piece, which is eh, but I mean it's okay because one of these I am keeping and the other two I'm getting rid of the first one is this NASCAR Winston Cup Series snapback right there uh, with the white and red pinstripe you got NASCAR Winston Cup Series on the front with that gold stripe and the gold eagle white uppers with the red pinstripe. Honestly, I might end up keeping this one too. I'm not too sure yet. Um, and then you have a signature on there, which I don't know whose signature that is. Uh, maybe one of you guys can let me know. And there is the tag, Winston Motorsport Traditions. Um, and this one is still really clean too, so. I don't know, maybe I'll keep this one too. But the next one I'm for sure keeping. Um, anyway, the first one that I'm keeping is this Texas Stadium, 1971 to 1996. Uh, strap back. So this is where the Dallas Cowboys used to play before they moved to Arlington. It was actually in Irving. On the back you got silver anniversary. It does have the brown leather snap, or not snap, strap. And then on the front you just have the years, the 1971 to 1996. This one is still very clean. Um, it could probably pass as not being worn. It might have not been worn. And then it has this legacy thing on the inside. So this one's probably gonna end up going into my personal collection because um, I've mentioned before, Dallas Cowboys snapbacks are like really the only ones I collect. So I'll probably go ahead and throw this in there. And then the third one, um, it says Green Bay Packers Velcro back right here. You just have the uh, Green Bay logo on the front, NFL right there on the brim, which this is kind of weird. I've never seen a hat with that on it like that. And then as you can see right there on the side, this one is by Sports Specialties, which is why I picked it up. I have like this mesh piece on the back and there's the Velcro, the Pro Line on the inside. And then there you go, sports specialties, one size fits all. And this one has the gray under brim. When I grabbed this one, the lady asked me if I was a Green Bay Packers fan. Obviously I'm not, but anytime I find any sports specialties hats, I usually pick them up. So that's the five hats that I grabbed today. Okay, so I picked up this hoodie. I have no idea if it's legit. Um, I don't mess with this brand at all. I never find this brand anywhere around here. So maybe you guys can let me know. I did look it up and they did make these, but I don't know if it's legit. Um, I don't even know if this is like a desirable piece. Anyway, it's this uh, ape by Bathing Ape hoodie. The so one side you have like maroon burgundy. You have the big ape logo, see ape by Bathing Ape. Um, and then it's like navy blue. Then you have the green sleeve. You got number 93. And then on the other side, you have the navy blue sleeve and the little logo down there. And then on the hoodie, it's half maroon. And then the other side is camo. 
So there you have the Tag Ape by A Bathing Ape. I read and I guess it's just like a sub brand of A Bathing Ape. I don't know, you guys let me know. I know nothing about like this hype beast branding stuff. But the reason I picked it up is because it was only $9. She wanted $10. Um, but right when she told me 10, she was like, I do nine on it. And she said she had a whole bunch of other ones, but somebody came by and bought them all. So this was the only one that she had left. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. Like I, like I was saying, I don't know if it's legit or anything. You guys can let me know. I just picked it up because it was only nine bucks. And then the next thing I picked up for five bucks is this Dallas Cowboys shirt right here from 1995. Because you guys know I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. I don't know how many times I have to say it. You got Cowboys spelled out with the helmet. Super Bowl 30 down there at the bottom. And there you go. That one is dated 1995. It's on a true fan tag, size XL. And then it still has the sticker on it right here. Official sticker. The little hologram. Grab that for five bucks because you can never have too many uh, vintage cowboy shirts in my opinion. And then the next two things I grabbed are both sneakers. Not gonna lie, neither one of these are in the greatest shape. But it doesn't bother me because one I got for super cheap and the other ones I'm actually keeping for myself. So let's start off with the ones I got for super cheap. Honestly, I didn't even really want these, um, but the vendor is actually a friend of mine. He originally wanted 30 bucks for them um, and I left them a couple times. Like I walked around, went back and then I walked around. Um, and then finally, I guess he just wanted to get rid of them. So he told me he would just take 15 for them. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Not a very desirable shoe. Um, anyway, it's the Chicago Jordan 9 right here. So the Jordan 9s are not very desirable, so that's why I didn't really want to pick them up. Um, and as you can see, they do have some paint chipping on the midsole. But the reason why I picked them up for 15 bucks is because this is actually the 2001 pair. So I just went ahead and grabbed them. I figured somebody would want them to restore. They're a size eight and a half, and I paid $15 for them. Here is the other one. Um, what do you guys know these as? I call them Chicago 9s because I know people call them playoffs, but he never even wore them in the NBA, so I don't understand how they're playoffs. And then I know people call them Space Jams, like they just, that's just a recent nickname, which is weird because the shoe has come out like five times or something like that. Um, and people just want to barely start calling them Space Jams, and they were only in the movie for like two seconds. Uh, let me know what you guys call them. I call them Chicago 9s. And then the second pair I picked up, uh, like I was saying, these need a little work too but they're my size and they're one of my favorite shoes and that is the LeBron 4 in the bread colorway. So I actually used to own this shoe but I got rid of it because it was too big. It was a size 10 and a half um, and it just fit me too big. These are size 9 and a half so I'm hoping these fit better but I picked these up for $15 as well. The reason why I got them for so cheap is because as you can see they need to be re-glued but I figured since I'm gonna be re-gluing those 18s that I got from SP Mitch that I might as well go ahead and grab these because I'm gonna be getting the glue anyway. So I figured I could re-glue these and um, have a decent pair of LeBron 4s in the bread colorway. Because as you can see, other than the re-gluing issue, the uppers are actually in really good shape. I mean, besides the pull tab does have some cracking because it's suede and they're old. But um, I'm gonna be re-gluing these and keeping these in my collection anyway. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but the LeBron 4s are probably like my third or second favorite LeBron model. Um, it's always back and forth between the 8s, the 7s, and the 4s as like my favorite LeBron model. But um, I really, really love the 4s. I like the way they look. She wanted 20 bucks for them, um, but I told her she would go any lower because of the re-gluing issues. And she said 15, so I just went ahead and took them for 15. This is going to be one that I re-glue and keep in my personal collection, so I'm happy with that. So those are my flea market pickups for this week, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one, so later.